So good morning to everyone. Uh, I am Om Mane and I'm a pre-final year student from Bellor Institute of Technology uh, from Computer Science Department. And uh, first of all, I would like to thank the panel for accepting our research paper and giving us this opportunity to present it. So my topic for my research paper was the stock market prediction using natural language processing, which is a survey paper. So why stock market prediction? Uh, as we all know, the stock market is a network which provides a platform for almost all major economic transactions. And stock movement prediction is a very central task in computational as well as quantitative finance. Smart stock picking requires uh, in-depth research and plenty of dedication. So the interest of many individuals is that if the trend of the prices of stock stocks is successfully predicted then investors may be better guided and they may be able to make better investments so the profit and investment and trading by individual institutions in the stock market to a large extent depends on predictability so if any program can be developed and can continuously predict the trends of the dynamic stock market it will be very wealthy which can also be very beneficial to individuals as well as institutions so one of the major hypotheses theories which uh, is in stock market prediction is the efficient market hypothesis which is proposed by Eugene Payne and which suggests uh, and it is a more authoritative explanation in the current financial circles. It suggests that the stock price is mainly affected by future information, namely news rather than being driven by current or past price, uh, prices. So based on this hypothesis, uh, many researchers and reviewers have based their algorithms. Uh, with recent advances in deep learning as well as natural language processing, event-driven stock prediction has received increasing research attention. So the end goal is to predict the movement of stock prices according to financial news. And this paper, uh, my paper surveys recent literature in the domain of natural language processing to uh, predict the stock market movements. So as for the related work, uh, the related work in these fields are uh, along the lines of deep learning, which can recognize and utilize the patterns and relationships in data through a self-learning process, constrained learning, which can deal with incomplete and uncertain data conditions, but does not require large number of observations as other artificial intelligence based prediction models. Noisy recurrent state transition, which is a visualization of past events over a very large time window, likely 20 years, 30 years. Liquidity prediction, which enables investors and issuers to meet their requirements regarding investment, financing, or hedging, and it reduces investment cost and the cost of capital. So liquidity prediction was based uh, was mostly done in very uh, constra constrained manner in the sense that it was not related to news of English. Basically, it was related to some specific language news, for example, Vietnamese or Philippines, etc. And finally, graph-based prediction, which was transforming time series into complex networks and then converting those market price series into graphs. The models and data sets used in this paper are as following long short term memory LSTM, convolutional neural network CNN, hybrid models, which are the collaboration between LSTM, CNN, or LSTM and RRN, RNN, which are recurrent neural networks, or LSTM, CNN, and EMD. EMD refers to empirical mode decomposition. So uh, these are the hybrid models, deep learning, time series, as well as heterogeneous graphs. So I'll explain some of the models in the further slides. So long short term memory. It is a model which we can see the architecture here. The index data set is taken from S&P 500 and then the data is pre-processed then uh, in wavelength transform. Then the system is trained, tested, and then uh, results are evaluated. For time series model, 
uh, it is the object of stock model based on time series. It is the historical data of stocks. The core step is to divide the historical data of stocks to facilitate the subsequent stock market forecast. In this model, the first and most important step is to collect and process time series data. When predicting a time series, it is mainly by observing the trend changes of the time series first and predicting future time series changes by learning the law of past changes. Time series data often have large amounts of data and are difficult to process directly. This requires dividing it and dividing the time series by finding the key trend points. Through this division method, the originally complex data can be compressed while also removing some noise in the stock sequence. Some points that are not helpful for production so that the retained information is more effective for the model to learn the changes in the time series data and the time series rules can be found more clearly. Uh, as well as heterogeneous graphs, uh, the main concept behind this is that given one or several news documents of a corporation or an organization, the goal is to predict the future stock reaction of this corporation based on corresponding financial text. So rather than predicting the specific price range, uh, the form they formulate the prediction as a fluctuation polarity. The prediction will be positive for the rise in stock price and negative for declining stock price. And the edges in these heterogeneous graphs are undirected. So the main basis for comparison in this paper was done on two or divided into two methods, which is the graphical methods and non-graphical methods. So the previous models which we saw was deep learning, constrained learning. Those were classified under uh, non-graphical methods, whereas heterogeneous graphs, these models were classified under graphical methods. So the data set and baselines. So the main data sets which were collected in almost every research paper were from S&P 500, Dow Jones, DAX, Yahoo Finance, and uh, K225. And the majority of the data collected was at least over 10 years, or uh, as we, as I said uh, before in time series, it collects a large amount of data. So for time series model, the data was collected over 20 years, 30 years, et cetera. So other baselines which were used was sentiment analysis, which is uh, a lexicon based method. And it was first uh, released by Logan and McDonald. Event tensor, which is a neural tensor network based event representation learning method. It ex uh, extracts event triples from titles or abstracts, and it will be then averaged for prediction. So event tensor CS, it is an external common sense knowledge enhanced event representation learning method. Similar events are trained to close to each other in vector space by predicting their sentiment polarities and contextual uh, events. Uh, TGT, CTX, and LSTM, it is a hybrid baseline. And it uses dependency parse trees to learn a target related representation of extract for stock market prediction. As well as MFNN, it is a multi filter deep learning model that integrates uh, CNNs as well as RNNs for feature extraction with respect to financial time series and stock prediction. Other, like LSTM, it is a basic LSTM network which is used to predict future trends of stock prices based on historical data. Uh, other data sets and baseline which are not mentioned here are DARNN, which is a dual stage attention based RNN that employs input attention and temporal attention in the encoder and decoder stages, respectively. So, uh, coming towards the evaluation metrics for non graphical models, uh, the evaluation metrics which were used were root mean squared error as well as mean absolute percentage error. The formulas for which are given here. Here, the as we were calculating the error, the lower the value of MSE as well as MAPE, the better the accuracy. Uh, and for graphical models, the area under a precision recall graph were taken. So the graph was constructed between precision recall with precision on x axis and recall on y axis. And the area under the curve was uh, evaluated. And since we are considering the area for graphical models, the higher the area, the better will be the accuracy. And the precision is given uh, by true positives divided by true positives plus false positive, whereas recall was given by true positive divided by true positive plus false negative. 
for non graphical models following were the results and uh, on the left hand side we can see all the data sets s&p 500 dow jones dx etc and the top two models which were found out to be the collaboration hybrid model of emd cnn and lstm as well as collaboration model of emd and lstm they were compared uh, and their rmse and mvp results are shown and as we can see from the figure emd cnn and lstm hybrid model has low mean squared error as well as mean average error in all the cases so it therefore signifies that the hybrid model of emd cnn and lstm was the best model for non graphical models so emd and ceemd which is the complete ensemble empirical mode decomposition are among the effective algorithms that have recently been considered in this research area thus one of the papers and uh, other research articles also sought to introduce the proposed algorithm of ceemd cnn lstm or amd cnn and lstm by studying each of these models and evaluating them based on data of different stock price indices facilitation of their analysis with ceemd and emd as well as extracting few uh, features and pet patterns in data with cnn and future analysis in the context of time plus analysis of dependencies with lst enhance the predictive capabilities of this model as far as graphical models go uh, these were the following results which were obtained by using all the baselines on the left hand side and the area under the curve which is displayed on the right hand side and as i mentioned before since we were calculating the area the larger the area the better the model and as we can see the hgm gif has the highest area under the curve of 0.638 so hgm gif refers to heterogeneous graph based sequential multigrain information aggregation framework so experimental result showed that hgm gif approach achieves a higher area under curve on this task as compared to the event representation learning and document representation learning method empirical studies show that heterogeneous graph is good at modeling documents and capturing massive information and contextual information within documents as far well, as far as conclusion concerning the significance of stock market prediction and its challenges researchers always try to introduce modern methods in the analysis of these markets LSTM as a state of the art model and CNN which are deep learning model yield good results in the analysis of stock market however when EMD and CEMD are the most effective algorithms and if a collaboration hybrid model of these CMD as well as EMD along with CNN LSTM is uh, evaluated it gives a uh, enhanced accuracy the major concept of the suggested algorithms was to create a collaboration between this by joining them together which could extract deep features and time sequences then the uh, models were applied in the training algorithm for one step ahead stock price forecasting in this regard first we decompose the financial time series to different monetary funds and the residual by cmd and emd algorithms the monetary funds and the residual were separately analyzed by cnn and lstm models the facilitation of their analysis with emd as well as extracting features and patterns in data with cnn and further analysis in the context of time plus analysis of their dependencies with lstm enhanced the predictive capabilities of this model the practical results were also supporting this claim and the assessment metric used were root mean square error and mean average percentage error as far as future works go the lstm model tend to pay more attention to a new extent when new event when it first occurs which offers us a potential improving direction in the future in future these models can also be applied to other indexes like nst for uh, reducing the rule based size techniques like uh, similar rule merging can also be used some areas that will be needed to achieve better accuracy so some scholars are concerning the use of sentiment analysis for uh, to predict stock market trend movement using domestic policy changes as well as the internet 
which can be used as an input to predict a trend of stocks. Another important concept is the Elliott Wave Principles, which can perform better on stock market trend predictions. So thank you so much.